Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We're playing City Skylines again. Today we're going to be working on this residential area. And the thing that we have to work on obviously is services because we didn't put any in when we built the area. So we're very deficient on fire protection, deficient uh, not really on police protection. I guess we're getting some good coverage from the stations around here. Uh, education, we've got some work to do there as far as high schools and university coverage, which is not bad actually. Um, but we're going to be working on those and I'm going to be incorporating some of the things that I talked about in my tutorial video. If you haven't seen it yet, I put out a tutorial yesterday discussing how to make things look a little bit better as you're, as you're placing them. Whether it's road placement, building placement, services, all of those sorts of things. Uh, and we're going to be putting a few of those things into practice today. So I'm going to put uh, one, a medical center. This area doesn't need a huge hospital in it just a medical center, same with fire and same with police. And we'll be doing each of those, plus the schools. And if we have time, we'll get some bus routes put in here as well. Let's start with the medical clinic. We do have a fairly good coverage as far as medical is concerned, but I think I want to put one specific one in this area. And I think the most logical place to put it would be sort of on this central avenue here, because it seems like some of the coverage isn't reaching these people here. So let's, um, let's put it right on the corner of a street here. We won't destroy the alley if we don't have to, although we might have to do it on this one, and we'll just reroute the alley. So let's, um, let's take a look at We'll just pause the game here. And uh, the thing that I was talking about in the video is, when you place a ploppable building, think of the things that would typically be found around a building of this type, or in an area of this type. So we have a medical center in a residential area. Typically, medical centers in a residential area are found within a strip mall. So there's a few different businesses that are, are along with the medical center, usually a pharmacy or a corner store or a min little mini coffee shop or pub or something like that. So I think what we'll do is we're going to dezone this little area around the medical center as well. And we're going to put a little bit of commercial in here. Not a ton because we don't want to make a, a bunch of noise for our citizens. But I think if we do a couple 4x4 four four spaces and then we'll, we'll build a little bit of uh, office border along here as well just to sort of fight off the noise. We'll do a 3x3 three three office as well. Let's beautify the area a little bit with some trees. We'll do the border along this side. Let's just turn the camera so we get a better look. We'll just do a little bit of tree lining, just to spice that up a little bit. And around the back side, we're going to continue the alley on. And this will be a gravel one because it's in a residential, but around a strip mall, you would expect to see a uh, concrete one because of deliveries and those sorts of things. Let's, uh, we'll get this one tree out of here so we can bring the alley right to the sidewalk there. So I think that kind of looks cool. This guy's got to go because that's been rezoned. Uh, we'll get rid of this guy as well. So we got a little bit of a strip mall here. And uh, I think that's going to look fairly natural. I mean, in a residential area, you typically find those small little strip malls. And uh, they service the local community for things like bread and milk and, and all those sorts of got to pick it up on the way home from work stuff without having to go downtown or out to an outlier area. Let's... Uh, Let's speed up the game here and see when this fills in. The commercial is going to fill in right away. I'm not sure about the office, but we'll soon find out. We could also continue this alley outward, I think, if there's enough room. Let's just have a look. We do have some room to go up into this space right here. No, it doesn't want to go for some reason. There we go. And again, no? Hmm. There. Okay. What did we get for commercial? What is this? China goods. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I guess that kind of fits. And financial news. And what we're going to do is, uh, just for the time being, we're going to zone this and block high-rises because we certainly do not want to have high-rises on here. High-rise ban. Okay, so that's done. We'll come back and rename this area after a uh, subscriber eventually, but for now, I don't have one on the top of my head, so we can't do it. This area is a little bit of a dead zone in here, so why don't we fill this in with something interesting? Uh, can we get anything in there that'll fit? 
off of the road. No, maybe we'll just we'll just fill it in with trees. We don't have a ton of options. No, actually, you know what? We do have options. There is a space filler that uh, I downloaded. Let's see if we can find it here in the asset menu. Agriculture, tree farm. Nope, that's not it. Baseball field is certainly not it. These space fillers are zoned as pipes, so you can put them anywhere you want, basically. Parking lot, no. Uh, you know what? They're in the pipes menu, exactly where they should be. 2x2 two two concrete space. Uh, what do we have here for space? 1x1 one one concrete, 1x4. One Is this 4? No, it's only 3. So we're going to have to do this individually. And let's see if we can let's see if we can do this without making this look really weird. Concentrate. Ugh, that kind of looks kind of gross, doesn't it? Not quite what I was going for. Although this path kind of looks gross too, though. Let's uh, let's take that out. Let's see if putting a concrete path will work better there. Okay, that looks a little better. And uh, we'll just maybe clean this up a little bit. It looks like I went over the edges there. It seems to have a bit of a bleed over the... Uh, the texture tool here. It seems to bleed over into other areas if you don't get it exact. Let's, uh, yeah, see it's it's bleeding under the path there. You know what we'll do is we'll bulldoze this out as a um, gravel and we'll bring it in as a concrete instead. Does that look better? Not really. Uh, let's Let's pull it all the way down. Okay, that looks somewhat better. We've got some funky street lights from the pedestrian paths, though. And uh, what if we were to do a couple trees in here, though, just to clean this up? Something like that. Maybe one right by this house. We're going to hide the messiness of this. There we go. That's not so bad. Let's maybe if we can get a couple little guys in there anywhere. Hmm, maybe something a little bigger. Does that look right? Would there be a tree in a back alley? Not likely. We'll leave it at that. A little odd looking, but that's fine. Is the zoning okay here? Yeah, it looks okay. Alright, so we've got our medical clinic in. Uh, we need a fire station now, just a little one. This is like a local branch detachment. And uh, let's... Um, Let's put it somewhere near the medical clinic, because I think that makes some sense. Let's see if we can get it to not destroy the alley. Were we successful? Yep. Uh, fire department, realism-wise, I've seen them in residential areas a number of times, and they don't typically have anything uh, around them aside from the existing houses in the area, so I'm fairly comfortable leaving it just like this. It's across from a commercial district as well, which makes some sense in my mind. Police stations, we don't have any little detachments in, uh, in the areas that I've lived in. Anyway, I've never seen them. Uh, but I do want to put a parking lot because police stations do have a lot of cruisers to take care of. And I think we'll pop them in right here. And if we can, if it'll fit, we're going to put a, uh, a parkade, a uh, parking garage. And that is this one here. A little big for this area, but I think we'll we'll try to work with it. Yeah. Okay, so... We broke the alley out, and I guess that's fine. I guess it's okay that we did that. We can't really fit it in anywhere anyway. Um, so we still have an alley here, so people can come out of their houses and get to the block. I wonder if we extended it this way and down... That seems to be okay. We'll dezone this though, because there's nothing's gonna grow there anyway. Let's um, let's put a few trees around here just to finish it off, and uh, we'll call it 
done for the fire station. Put a few little trees right up front there. There we go. What is this developing into now? Still China goods, but it's upgraded. No workers here. There's tons of people around. You can find somebody to work there. So we have improved this area likely quite a bit. Let's see what medical coverage is like. Very good, except for this little outlier. Uh, fire department coverage, not bad. We still have some outlier areas here. However, we're going to be doing some future development in this area, so we won't worry about that for the time being. Police coverage is perfectly fine. We need to get a bus route. And uh, we're going to do this in a, in a couple bus routes. I'm going to have one bus route that essentially serves this bit here. Uh, and then we'll have another one at the bottom that'll connect up to that central one. And then we'll have a, a north-south uh, running one as well. Maybe like right on this block here. Somewhere that will connect fairly close to blue line so people can get out of here. So maybe we'll bring it across the street and uh, say up to there. And then they can cut across and go to the blue line. Let's start the north-south one first because I think that'll be the easiest to get done. So we want to start here and somehow get over here. What's the quickest way? That's perfectly acceptable to me. And whoop, I guess that's a dead end street, isn't it? We don't want to start there then. We'll start right here and go over here. That works. And then we'll come back. Very nice route to take. Very short. We'll do a couple stops on this road. Uh, maybe we'll do three total. And one kind of in between each of these on the other direction. And then back to that one. Okay, we need to give this a color. So let's get out of this view and we'll grab the transportation overview menu. Let's make this uh, the red line for this area. Okay, so we have that. Now we want to have a route that comes close to this so that they can connect on and get to the blue stop or the blue bus line. So let's start a route right about here, right across the street from there. And not too, too many stops, but we do want to cover the area as, as well as we can. Let's stop once at the end of this block. Now let's have a look. I want to come up to, I think, this block here. That'll give all of these people the opportunity to walk to either side of this bus route. And finish that line off. Okay, transportation overview. Let's click on the line and color it. And this will be, let's say, bright yellow. Bright yellow line. Let's do one more down here. And this route will connect both to the red and to the yellow. So we'll get a stop nearby here and a stop nearby here. Starting with the connection to the red line, I think. We'll go right here and then down along the main street. Now we want to get somewhere close to here. So what if we came up to... Yeah, I like that stop there. How about on that block and then close the line? That looks pretty good. A little bit of inefficiency up here. Uh, we might be able to pull the yellow line up one bit and just cover that off. Let's get a color on this line first. Let's open our overview. We will make this the purple line, or magenta line. Okay, so do I want to get one up here? A very small bus route right there, maybe? Hmm. <laughs> There's no other connection that I want to make. I suppose I could make an express line that would skip out blue and maybe come close to red. So we would end somewhere around there and come back. Let's see how that looks if we do that. 
So let's start on this side of the street and see how quickly we can get over there. Uh, that's not the best. Okay, let's just let's just try this. How quickly can we get back? I uh, don't like that because we have to go up into this area. It's already trafficked enough. Let's just pull this out of here. Don't don't quite like where that was going. We'll leave this connected to the blue line, but I think what we want to do is get a, a route that comes kind of close up to the red. They can hop on the red, hop over the freeway, and get onto the blue line, which will take them all the way down here where they can connect to several different lines depending on where they want to go. So I think that's that's okay. We'll, we'll experiment with this and we'll watch the efficiency as this develops. So let's uh, let's start a line somewhere close to red, right about there, and uh, close to yellow too so they can make a transfer there if needs be. And we will, how do we want to bring this? Yeah, I guess that's okay. And once back over there. Very short, efficient line. We will color this the dark blue line. Pretty good coverage, really, when you, when you look at it. This may be a little deficient down here. I would suspect that they would walk to this line. We can quarry that with the uh, quarry tool. Let's just see. Tons of pedestrian traffic. They're walking everywhere. I mean, I'm not too worried about them not walking to that bus stop. That's not that far away. Um, they're walking way up here already, so that, that should be just fine. So we've got some, some of the buses coming to the lines here. How is Red doing? Is it operating already? I want to follow this along and see what our ridership is like. We've got 30 of 30 already. It's a good sign for a new bus route. What is going on with the traffic here? Maybe that stop is a little close to the end of the block. We might have to move that back just a bit. Yeah, but the blue line connection is right there. You know what? Probably won't matter too much. Gonna move that back because it's a little close to the lights. It's jamming things up. Look at the <laughs> look at the horde of people are uh, coming down. Wow, is that ever a lot of people? Still highly considering downloading the bus capacity expansion mod, which would likely help greatly with this. Although we'll let this route function a little while longer. It needs to uh, to resolve itself. Let's follow this along and we'll take a little bit of tour of this area. So this is the line that jumps across the freeway, so I'll be curious to see the route that it takes here. This freeway not too busy right now and that's why I have those cross sections in there. It's it's not a worry to me that I have a cross section on the freeway when it's slow. When it starts getting busier and busier it's going to have to come out. So everybody jumped off here and that makes a lot of sense because this bus goes back now. Um, those people would likely be transferring over to the blue line. Let's just see if we can watch that happen. So they're getting off right here, and the blue line pickup is where? Where is the blue line? Just across the street. I'm curious to see if they're doing that. I imagine they take this crosswalk and hop over there. Let's wait for the next red bus to come. Is it on its way? This is what I was talking about, these little cross uh, things. They have these in real cities, but they're only for emergency vehicles. So here comes a red bus full of people. Let's watch where they go from here. I suspect they're going to transfer to the blue line. Let's see if they turn into blue line people. Nope, they went the other way. Most of them did anyway. Are they going to the metro by chance, which is right here? Or perhaps they're getting on the blue line right there. Some did. Some went into the metro. Most went into the metro by the looks of it. That's perfectly fine. This is a good bus route so far. Lots of ridership.
where are these people going when they're getting off? Let's pause this. I'm just going to see where these people are going. Uh, da, 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 going home. Okay. Going home. Where is home for you? Doesn't say. Let's follow. Curious to see how far Elisa is walking. Not very far. So she had a, she had a bus stop very close to her house. See this little bit of space there. I want to fill that in. Can I get another one in there? Oh, I don't want a big one. Give me a little one. Not a big one. Ah, oh, whatever. Okay, education. We got uh, one last thing to do, about eh, 10 minutes left in the video, so we can pop these in. So in the video, what I suggested for education, elementary schools, high schools, is to think about the activity areas that would be involved in in a elementary school or a high school. And uh, with elementary schools, you typically want to have a playground or a soccer field or something along those lines. And uh, so I think what we'll do on this one is we will just dezone this area here and here. And I believe I have a baseball field that will fit in this area. I'm not positive, but I think it will. It was a fairly small baseball field. Nope, that's not the one. It, I don't believe it had a graphic, so let's just see. Baseball field. Whoa, that's way too big. Way too big. And the soccer field is way too big for this, too. Uh, skate park. I'm not sure if schools have skate parks these days. They certainly didn't encourage skateboarding when I was a kid. Basketball. That would work. We could do basketball. And then we'll just leave green space around for the kids to play. Uh, one pedestrian path through here would probably be all right, and I think we have a little bit of space. No, we don't. We got... Nope, not even from there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's not block that off. I don't want to do that. Where does this basketball end? Yeah, we'll do that connection, and uh, we'll leave this space open for a playground for the kids. So we've got some elementary school coverage and I hope that'll improve soon enough. High school coverage is certainly still bad. We may have to rearrange some of the block layout here to get a proper high school in because I would like to put a soccer field in as well. So let's pause the game for just a sec and we're gonna think about, I need to basically cut out one of these roads. Which one is not going to interfere with a bus route though? So if I bust it out, this road, I think we should be just fine. So let's, um, let's get out of that view and we'll break this road out. We're going to do some major surgery on this area here. Just get these houses out of the way so we got a place to work. And we get the paths out of there as well. Okay, we got a blank canvas now, so we're going to grab our high school. And I want to set it back a little bit into the uh, area. So we're going to grab a road and just enough to get the high school kind of set. And we're not going to do it on a curve. We'll do a straight. Something like, no, you know what, we'll continue from, from this road. Just like that, and we'll put the high school right on this sort of corner, or just in from the corner, I think will be good. Okay, so a um, couple things I want to do is do the soccer field, which I believe will fit. Let's cross our fingers that it does. It's a big, big building. Yeah, we just had enough room. Uh, we're going to put it on this side of the school. And uh, we'll put some other activity ones too. I don't believe the baseball field will fit, but we can give it a try, but I don't think it will. Nope, just 
just not quite enough. Uh, the basketball court will, and we can certainly put that in. Where is this best fitting? We could put a couple basketball courts in on each side of this. I want to get it lengthwise though. There we go. Looks pretty neat. And uh, how about a skate park? Okay, so now I want to do some pedestrian pathing because there would be paths between the school and all of these places. We can't get one over here, but we could certainly put one in this area. Let's see how this looks because this is a really wonky area. Ah, uh, boy. Okay. Not the best looking path. Let's dezone this. And we will... You know what? We can leave that one. That's okay. Uh, around the skate park there would be concrete. And so we're going to put some, some paths in here. That didn't look so good. It did not work out so good. So we'll leave that out. And we'll cover that up with trees to make it look a little bit better. I don't use these shrubs too often. So let's get some of those in. Let's put a couple little guys around the sides here too, just to finish this off. Okay, this is still zoned for residential. And this is not, so we have to figure out what to do in here. I think a, a pedestrian path from this upward will be nice. And then we can do a tree line with, uh, let's use the shrubs again. And we'll just do it a little bit back from the path. There, I like that. How about around the school? A few large trees, I think, but not a ton of trees. And maybe a couple little shrubs at the front. Very neat. I like that a lot. I like that a lot. Let's uh, pull this pedestrian path up to the sidewalk and then I think we'll call it a day. Perfecto. Okay guys, that is, uh, we did a sort of a run through of services in this area. So I tried to do, you know, bits of realism like I suggested in the video. If you've got some ideas on how to make a high school look better or make an elementary school or medical clinic look better, Please leave me comments. I'm always open to new ideas and learning new things about the game and how to make things look great. But uh, I think that's going to be it for today, guys. So thanks very much for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.